Good morning, how are you all doing? I hope you're having a great day. Today it's Friday, it's the only day where I have classes in the morning, so I got up earlier, it's uh, 7.15 right now. I need to edit a promotional video for a nightclub in Sheed and after that I'm going to class. And after that we are going with Milan to pick up that fork from painting. And uh, there's something very interesting. Yesterday when I finished all those trainings, it was almost dinner time around uh, 7 p.m. Postman came and brought this and I know what it is but you will have to wait a little bit more to see. I'm going to record a specific uh, review and unboxing video so check Ok so actually one hour has passed and I even didn't touch anything, I had to answer some questions, talk to friends from college and to post some news on the Cycling Federation site, so now I'm going to start editing. So actually I got interrupted one more time, a mailman called me to get downstairs and uh, another package has arrived, it's like Christmas for me but unfortunately I had to pay for everything. This is uh, something for BMX bike, I'm not going to tell you of course what it is. Uh, of course I'll record an unboxing video especially for it. Because these are all uh, cheap stuff and probably there are many people that want to have something that is good for its price and I'll do a review for every bargain I found because probably there are many people like me that don't buy something very important but want it uh, cheaper and to see how good it is for its price so yeah we'll do a review after it. Now I don't have much time to do editing but it's not a big rush for it so I'll go out to meet with Milan and we're going to pick up that fork. <coughs> up with Milan we came here on the end of the city and we are going to pick up the fork from our friend Nicola he is a car painter and he did also paint the fork hello do like do like do like I like it. <laughs> Great job. So this is Nikola Mihalcic, also cyclist rider. Shine, 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 shine. Bye. Man, looks nice, man. So shiny. It's going to fit perfect. What do you think? Excited, excited. Uh, so Nikola uh, did a great job. Uh, he matched the colors perfectly. Uh, exactly, so. you don't know that because you didn't. I know. Put it I was looking. I was looking at that frame sleeping in my room for <laughs> two or three months. I know the exact color. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, that's it. All right, now we are going to the bike shop to, to the bike shop and to see if what is there. And if it is, we are going to put some other parts on it and to see the progress. He doesn't want to risk scratching fork in bus. <laughs> He's calling the cab.
Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, man. Nice, 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 nice. Jape, is that you? Uh, <laughs> I'm fine. You? How are you doing? Uh, I'm fine. Uh, you're just in vlog live, so please speak in English so everyone could understand you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it's such a pity that other people can't hear you right now because you're so funny, man. You, your sense of humor is just <laughs> out of this world. <laughs> Don't look. Until it goes click. Oh my. And the moment of truth. Yes. No, it's okay. Pretty uh, good. Let's see. 32. Ah. It will be so tight. It has to be at least uh, three and a half centimeters. And now is? Uh, le yeah, less, less than three and a half. But if we'll you, if, if, if you edge. find some uh, short stem, it will be okay. It's always nice to, to, to think uh, forward <laughs> before something happens, <laughs> like now. <laughs> Moment of truth, part two. We need less, no, no, we need less. Yeah, that's okay. the shallowest. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, oh it's, it's nice. Yeah. Actually, it could work. Yeah, nice, nice. Lucky man. Here you need one more thing. Uh, it was a star nut. You have this, uh, these two types. We will put this uh, with the with the longer shim, deeper actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See. Yeah, it's just perfect now. Yeah. Excellent. It just sits perfect. perfectly. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Great. So since I wanted to stay on old wheels for a first period, uh, we came up with a problem that 11-speed cassette Shimano 105 can fit on the free wheel of the the old wheel, rear wheel. Uh, so Boris came up with a solution uh, that we just exclude one sprocket and make 10 speed cassette uh, for the first first period so I, I will ride uh, 2 times 10 105 which is actually 2011 but never mind we have to fix the wheels and the uh, handlebar will arrive at the shop uh, on Monday Monday or Tuesday so, so after that Everything should be uh, prepared for a mount. So yeah, we hope that bike will be prepared in the middle of next week. So that was all bike building for today. Now we have to go to classes, so we'll continue building it tomorrow. So I got back from the college and another package has arrived. But this one is a product from Serbia. I bought something used, so yeah, we can open this one right now. It's crazy, like uh, I got uh, three packages since yesterday, but of course I'm tracking all those day by day, so I know when they will come. And I ordered this two days ago, so in Serbia it's no problem. They sent it yesterday and comes today, but the other two packages that I'm going to open later, are, it's really coincidence that they came up in the same day. Okay, probably you could guess, someone could guess what this will be.
And yeah, it's a Logitech mouse. Scroll, great. Buttons, okay. I have also Logitech MX uh, USB receiver. Two batteries, great. So this is Logitech G7 mouse. As I said, I bought it used. Uh, it's in good condition. I bought it for my laptop for traveling and editing videos and also I have almost the same it's an MX-518 mouse for gaming and they really feel almost the same so let's test it out okay just a moment before we go and unbox this box here just wanted to show you how clean this looks right now so this is a charging unit and also a USB port for the receiver of the mouse and this looks so clean right now. I know this uh, mouse pad is big because it's a gaming one and of course I don't use it so so much in front but without cord it looks so great. And now real stuff. going to believe me but this keyboard I bought nine years ago I remember the day when I went to buy it I was in elementary school after school I went to buy it and it was for 10 bucks I think but the only reason why it's still in such a good shape it doesn't even have any scratches around is because I never punched it, it I uh, cleaned it uh, once per month vacuum cleaned it but now finally it's going in its retirement and he did a great job, thumbs up for genius. So finally, new keyboard in 3, 2, 1. Ta-da! Actually, this is first time in my life that I have a mechanical keyboard. I watched many videos about them, I know why they are better, but I actually never touched one. And that means only one thing. Get down! Okay everyone, thanks for watching today's video. I'm going to edit up a little bit earlier. I still need to go to the gym and finish editing and some other stuff to do, but I don't want to show you same boring things every day. So again, thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, share, comment and subscribe and see you in tomorrow's video. It's going to be awesome.